Have you ever heard about the story of the thirsty crow? Picture this. A crow, its wings weary from a long flight, its throat parched, craving the cool relief of water. The sun beats down on the crow and it's clear that this is no ordinary thirst. This is a thirst born from miles of tireless flight. A thirst that claws and gnaws at the crow's insides. The crow, driven by this relentless thirst, begins to explore the vast expanse of the forest. The trees, once a source of comfort, now stand silent, offering no relief. The crow's eyes, normally sharp and bright, are now clouded with desperation. He searches high and low, his heart pounding in his chest, his beak opening and closing in silent pleas for water. The thirst is overwhelming, but the crow's spirit remains unbroken. And then, our hero spots something in the distance. A glimmer, a sparkle, a sign of hope. It was a pot, and guess what? It was half filled with water. The crow's heart soared. At last, his thirst would be quenched. But the joy was short-lived. The crow swooped down, landed on the edge of the pot, and dipped his beak in, only to realize the water was too far down. His beak, though sharp and pointed, fell short. He tried again and again, stretching his neck as far as he could, but the water remained elusive. The reality of the situation hit him. Despite having found water, he was still unable to drink it. His heart sank, and a sense of hopelessness washed over him. The thirst that was initially a discomfort now seemed like an unbearable pain. The crow was on the verge of giving up, the water so close yet unattainable. But then, amidst the despair, the crow spots something on the ground nearby. Scene script. Pebbles. Little, insignificant pebbles. You'd think they're nothing more than mere stones, overlooked and underappreciated, strewn carelessly across the forest floor. But to our parched friend, the crow, they were the key to his survival. With a glint of understanding in his eyes, the crow hopped over to the scattering of pebbles. He picked up one, then another, and another. Each pebble was carefully selected, examined, and then dropped into the pot. As the pebbles fell into the pot, they sank to the bottom, each one creating a little ripple that danced upon the water's surface. And something magical began to happen. The water level started to rise, slowly at first, almost imperceptibly, but with each pebble, each ripple, the water edged closer and closer to the brim. The crow continued his labor, his wings drooping with exhaustion, but his spirit undeterred. With every pebble, the anticipation built. Each stone was a step closer to his goal, a testament to his determination. The crow was not just fighting thirst, but also the despair that came from a seemingly insurmountable challenge. But he did not waver. He did not falter. His beady eyes focused on the task. The crow kept at it, his resolve stronger than the midday sun. Each pebble was a symbol, a testament to his indomitable spirit and the power of tenacity. And then, finally, after what seemed like an eternity, the water rose to the brim. The crow, with a triumphant glint in his eyes, bent down to take a sip. The water, cool and refreshing, flowed down his parched throat, re-energizing his tired body. A sense of satisfaction washed over him. He had defied the odds, turned an impossible situation into a victory. This wasn't just about quenching his thirst anymore, but about the triumph of his will and intellect. This clever bird, weary from his journey, didn't let his predicament get the better of him. He looked at the problem from a different angle, found an unconventional solution, and executed it with unwavering determination. His beak, too short to reach the water initially, was no match for his ingenious mind. The crow's story is a testament to the power of perseverance and ingenuity. It reminds us that obstacles are not dead ends, but detours that lead us to explore new paths and solutions. The crow didn't surrender to his circumstances. Instead, he harnessed his resourcefulness, proving that even the most daunting challenges can be overcome with a bit of clever thinking. And so, the story of the thirsty crow teaches us a valuable lesson. If there's a will, there's a way. Every problem has a solution if we look hard and don't give up.